Hey there, it's Bobby, aka Paginator, and it is day 23 of Craftoween. Let's go ahead and get started with our uh, dumb duckies. We have three more days of these, and then we'll go back to the Nightmare Before Christmas calendar and hopefully get some better characters there. Let's see. We have another duck with a ghost on its tummy. So I have one thing I want to say before I do the rolls today. Um, I know that several people have come over as a suggestion from Janie, the crafting bookworm. And I want to say thank you to those of you who have joined in on her recommendation. She and I have very different art styles with the way that we do our journals. And so when you watch her series, you're going to be getting something different than when you watch mine. But I think that's a good thing because if everybody did the same style of art and that kind of thing, it would be super boring. So... Again, thank you for coming and watching, um, and make sure that you support Jamie with um, her channel as well. Let's do roll number one. Look at that. 13, Coraline. And roll two. 17, stickers. All right, so for Coraline, um, I wanted to do something that wasn't strictly like just a printable. Having said that, I did print something. I found this really pretty um, art on a website called Freepick that you can license. And I'm going to turn this into a pocket. And then we're going to also experiment on this little sticker. I have this sticker here that actually is a Coraline inspired sticker. It's got bobbins and buttons and it's got her with their raincoat and blue hair. And as I said, I wanted to like do a little bit more in terms of like technique and such. So um, what I thought we'd try to do is see if there's any way that we can change the color of this girl's hair. Now her outfit under the raincoat isn't exactly like what Coraline is wearing, but it is similar. Her shirt is similar to what the Coraline in this art print is wearing. And she's got the the yellow um, raincoat kind of thing. So we're gonna see what we can do about turning this girl's hair blue on the sticker. I don't know if the idea I have in mind is gonna work or if it's gonna turn out to be a failure and ruin the sticker. So as uh, I've mentioned before in this series, this is about experimenting and trying new things. So let's just see what happens. I have some bright blue um, embossing glaze that's uh, the color Broken China. And it is not the exact blue, but this is the blue that I have. So it's what we're going to play with. So I've got an embossing pen here. I'm just going to try to carefully color her hair. is far from perfect but her hair is now at least tinged blue so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this and it's not gonna be our main Coraline piece it's gonna be on the item that goes into the pocket that we're gonna make so next up we're gonna choose a page to put the pocket on I don't know I grabbed the cute journal because I think it fits better in this one even though Coraline might easily be the creepiest <laughs> movie that I have on my list of inspiration. I was thinking that it wouldn't be good to put it by any of the skeleton pages, but with the blue in the background and on the cloth here and the blue here, I kind of actually like this. Oh, what the heck, let's go for it. Now I do want to point out you can do pockets like this with just one copy of an image. What you would do is cut a slit here and then when you glue it down, you would make sure that you're really careful about what parts get glued and that you're still able to tuck things inside of that pocket um, but because I do have or am able to print two copies of the picture we're just going to do an overlay like this and we will glue on the sides and the bottom only now thinking about Coraline the um, students at my school the eighth graders um, are reading Coraline in their reading class and the reading teacher was telling me that one of our um, students who's neurodivergent he they were been listening to the audiobook and when the mice come in he keeps saying things like, squish them, get them. <laughs> and it's his favorite part because he just wants to think about getting the mice. 
I have a piece of black cardstock with this kind of uh, shiny print on it. And I think we're going to add our little embossed girl down here. Again, I am purposely choosing things that are not exactly 100% Coraline. I'm going to cut little corners off, I think, so that it's a tag shape. And since our, one of our prompts was stickers, I was thinking I would grab maybe a sticker that I could just write Coraline on. Um, there are lots of great quotes from the book uh, Coraline, and I could put a quote on there, but I kind of don't want to. Um, because I've been doing a lot of quotes and I just kind of feel like I just want to have this little sticker here and then I want to do Coraline across this way. Something within me is telling me that, that I need more blue on this tag. So we're going to get our embossing um, pen again and write Coraline across like this. And some of you might be thinking, gosh, you're doing a lot of embossing. That may be but it's my journal and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Honestly, while I'm thinking about that though, I have to say that like 99% of the comments that I've gotten on my videos have been so kind. And you know, of course some people offer their feedback and say, oh, I would have done it this way, which is 100% fine. I don't have any problems with that. Um, I just don't like it when people say it in a nasty way. Uh, the back side we will leave plain just for writing space. If you do um, journaling and you have dark colors like black, navy blue, dark purple, those kind of things, get yourself a white pen like either Ohuhu or Jelly Roll or like a white gel pen and you can write on those dark colors. I absolutely love, love, love those. So let's see what it looks like when we've got our tag popped in here. Oh, hang on. Sticker doesn't want to play nice. I kind of feel like we can't do something that's truly Coraline themed without some buttons. So I am going to grab my button bowl. Okay, ideally we need black buttons. Now the buttons in the movie I think are the ones with four holes in them. This one only has two, but it might be what we've got. Let's see what other black buttons I can find. So I think both of these that have the four holes are navy blue instead of black. Do you think that would still be okay if we just put like a couple buttons like that? I'm not going to put them on her eyes because no. <laughs> no. We'll just put them down here as page accents. Add a little bit of Fabri-Tac. So I actually really quite like this. Nobody who knows Coraline would look at this and not see Coraline. We did use stickers as well, even though they're kind of hidden in the tag, and that's okay, because honestly that one sticker didn't turn out so cute. But I still like what I came up with. So I'm really happy that I found this art that's not like straight from the movie or straight from the book, but it's still a great representation of the movie and the character. And of course adding the buttons makes the big difference. So. I think that'll be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and come back for the next one. Have a wonderful, magical, and bookish day. Happy reading, crafting, or journaling. Adios. Hey.